This week, I am still in Bimini hosting a few charters. Once again, I get to highlight a few of the beautiful experiences this island has to offer while I host some amazing souls. I hope that you get to learn a little bit in this episode, and please remember to click that subscribe button. We just left the dock. It is trip number two, and I have some amazing people on board. And we're gonna have a great time with the hammerheads today. And the wind's gonna be on and off all week. So we're gonna be dodging it and hitting it for the sails. But the water is beautiful again. We're gonna go get some hammers and maybe a tiger if I'm lucky, but I'm not lucky with them, so. Ready? <laughs> Excited. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ready? Tiger sharks have always been my favorite shark, but up until this year, I had never actually seen one while I was in the water. This juvenile female had started showing up at this site when we started our charters, and it was a dream to finally see her. She was more curious than the hammerheads, which is also common among juvenile sharks in general. But because we didn't give her any food quick enough, she left after just a few minutes. and just race anchor and now we are on our way to anchorage the sun will be going down as we move it was so good how was it awesome so good we got two tigers one was a juvenile that's been showing up lately and three different hammerheads um, the morning was definitely more active than the afternoon but the baby tiger was so cute i shouldn't say that but it was and we're I'm gonna take a break from sharks tomorrow and be back at it in two days. To begin, I just pull. So I'll be releasing this one and you'll be pulling this one. And then when you can't pull anymore, you'll do uh, three wraps and you wrap it there. And then we'll put the winch in and you'll winch. Okay, go for it. I will crank here. take a brief pause here to talk about Husk Knives. I have partnered with Husk Knives, the ultimate cooking knife. Husk is running a 70% discount on their authentic Japanese inspired knives only to my viewers and you can try risk-free with a money-back guarantee within 30 days. If you know me or you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I don't have the best record with knives, this finger can tell you. Living out here, the salt air ruins pretty much everything. And combined with the salt exposure and 
my record, husk knife has become the ultimate knife for me to use on board. Husk knives are not only beautiful with perfection in every detail, they've also made the steps to make them super user friendly. I personally love this little hole, has made it super safe for me to use. The knives are sharp with the 38 degree blade edge and Husk uses high quality Japanese inspired stainless steel that helps fight against corrosion. Obviously during charters and every day I spend a lot of time here in the galley prepping food and a good knife truly does minimize the time of prep. I've cut my prep down by 50% just having a good knife and I promise that it is so worth the investment. Having one good knife compared to a few cheap knives really does revolutionize meal prep which is why I really encourage you to try out these Hux knives risk-free with a 30-day money-back guarantee and 70% off and the link is in the description. This is only offered to you as my viewers for a short time and I really hope you take advantage of it. So we just did stingrays, but I forgot to put my SIM card and my GoPro, so that's how that went. But now we have like 15 to 20 knots of wind, so we're going to sail to our next spot, and we're going to put out the main sail first, and then put out the jib. We're going to attack a little bit to optimize sail time, and so we're going to sail for like an hour or two to the next spot, and it's beautiful because the waves are breaking over there, so we have a lot of wind and very little wave. Okay, so we're going to do the main sail anchor. And then you can do like one wrap and then pull there. Let's keep pulling. Yeah. Yeah. This is easier. Yeah. And we're gonna do two wraps. Two wraps. Mm -hmm. Where's the best place to pull from? You mean uh, Literally, I go like this and I just pull. Just right through there? Okay. Please, and you pull. Like a little bit. Yeah. So you do three wraps and then put it there and winch. Now winch. It's pretty. And you're gonna do the same. Yeah, there we go.
Each trip dove with these hammerheads twice, and I tried my best to capture the shark's behavior, both being cautious and checking us out a bit. The nurse sharks are always present and are more so in the way and make it a bit harder to focus on the hammerheads. The hammerheads generally make a few passes by before actually coming to check what we have. Sharks are some of the most intelligent animals I have encountered and it actually takes a lot of effort to get these sharks to stay at a dive site, contrary to what the media says. I hope that these videos can help change your perception of sharks at least a little bit and see them in a more positive light. It is our last night of our second trip and we're gonna go out to eat again. Um, we're just all taking hot showers, we just got to the dock. I'm trying to get this thing out of my hair without having to cut my hair. Um, but it was an amazing time and today, the hammerheads are wanting to play so much this morning and the footage was amazing. So. It is our day off in between charters and my, because Hammerheads are his favorite and I told him he has to come. So, we are going on a fun shark dive today. We have a ton of bait and we're gonna see lots of sharks, right? It's All of them. <laughs> no, just not the nurse oh, sharks. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna have a good day out there. It's a little windy, but we're gonna make the most of it and see a lot of sharks. Dre and I are going to go catch some bait for the last charter. What? That's my comb. <laughs> like so, everyone just got on. We're making drinks, unloading stuff, but most importantly, we're locking not most dreads. importantly, but um, <laughs> I have a saint right here who is about to. Um, you guys don't even know how bad this is. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna tackle this, so. We are. How did that get free? This is something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I actually started taking care of my hair for <laughs> once too. Like, this is better than it used to be. I saw it earlier and I was like, is that a dreadlock on her hair? But like maybe she's going for that. She's no, like, no she's I was not going it. for it. So not, we, we, we got a pretzel. Is, we got a pretzel. I got We're getting it. Yeah. This girl is a freaking lifesaver. Oh my gosh. I can't even. We got it out. I can't believe it.
It's trip number three. We just did a hammerhead dive and a northerly is about to come in. But we had more fish than the hammers on this one. <laughs> and the mackerel, sashimi is almost gone. And we're having lunch with everyone Delicious. until that moves in. Caribbean reef sharks are one of the most common sharks in the Bahamas. There are quite a few dive sites around the islands that are dedicated to reef sharks and they are also the most common shark we see while spear fishing. They are smart and become well accustomed to their area and understand what a boat engine sounds like as well as a spear being shot. They become very interested when there is a weak fish or bait around. However, as you can see, they are really relaxed and not interested in us at all without bait in the water. Again, my goal is for you to hopefully see a different, calmer side of sharks that those of us who live on the water see daily. They are intelligent, beautiful animals that sit high on the food chain, helping to keep our oceans clean and healthy. The Sapona shipwreck sits in 15 feet of water south of Bimini. It is a concrete ship, formerly a part of a fleet during World War I. It was completed at the end of the war and sold for scrap to a developer in Miami Beach and then sold to a British war captain and liquor merchant located in Nassau. This captain moved the Sapona to Bimini and it was used to distribute liquor during the Prohibition era. In 1926, the Sapona ran aground and it was then used as a bombing target to train U.S. fighter planes during World War II. It is now a popular tour site, and rightfully so, as this wreck truly shows the beneficial impact that artificial reefs can serve. Hundreds of fish and marine life call this wreck home and it is one of the most beautiful sights to snorkel in the area. I see you. I see you.
So it's our last dinner on the boat for the charter. And there's Allie up there. Go Allie. Um, fish piccata. It's our very last night and we're out at the conch shack. And yeah. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun during these trips and I am happy I got to capture and share so much of them. These charters are officially over, but I will still be in Bimini for another few weeks. Next week or today on Patreon, I have a really big announcement. Remember to turn on that notification bell to be reminded when the episode goes live.